that that will. Oh, good morning to you. Good morning to you. You're going to hear things like, if you want to learn to be strong, learn to enjoy being alone. And aloneness simply means completeness. And oh, for those of you on the spiritual path, being alone, keeping a distance from people, and becoming silent about issues, there are opportunities. And with completeness, completeness there is no need for companionship. And a being, a being that is whole needs, needs nothing, nothing and no one. one. And aloneness, aloneness is your nature. nature. You were born, you were born to, be to be alone. You will and die, you will die alone. alone. And you were living, you were living alone, alone without, without understanding it, without being, without being fully aware, aware of it. And, and with, with awakening, you are, you are sufficient to yourself. Okay, you get, you the, get picture, the picture, right? right. As a, As a biological species, species people, people can, can only, only thrive when they have, when they have connection. connection. This, is, this a is a basic human need. need. It is, it is true that a being can develop, develop spiritually to the point where they, where they fully perceive their connection, connection with all, all things in existence. Thus, Thus proving that loneliness, that loneliness is a perception. But, but people, people who perceive life, life this way, way do not perceive themselves to be alone because they experience no isolation. No isolation. They experience, they experience no, no aching, aching, no fearsome loneliness. loneliness. The, reality the reality is that most people are not there, there. nor is it fair to expect them to be there. What most, what most people, people need, need, as always, Teal comes in very appropriately on the topics, aloneness, being alone, being by yourself, whatever. And last night, because, probably because I watched this. I watched this video. It made me dream this. I was seeing this in my dream. And I don't know why. This bimbo building this office chair. I'll just go anywhere in there. So I'm in this dream and I'm walking around. I'm I'm trying to dislike someone in real life, 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 like attack them or something. Yeah, I'm but just I'm just saying, saying like, like, like how you guys act, it's very, it's very fake. fake. It's very, it's very consistent. Is this a long screw or a short screw? I don't know who she's talking to. Well, this is all very strange to me because I'm not that familiar with her. I just started listening to some of the stuff she says. And but my, my feet are dying. dying. I'm, like, I'm sitting, sitting on my feet right now doing this with this chair. My feet are dying. dying. Do you know some thought about that you should talk to Kidology? What is, what is that? that? Eric Court Court Dollar Super Chat, you should be doing shots. This, this chair is making, making you want to drink. Like, like this, you know, you know what makes people alcoholics? Having to build Chinese furniture. That's what makes people alcoholics. So if they want to really get down to the nitty-gritty of why people in America... <laughs> okay. okay. We did, did that too. Now, now in step, step three. <laughs> so, in my dream, where I was, I was at Houston. It was early in the morning, and I was going to try to go see if my friend Victor had got up because I knew it was Saturday. I knew it was eight in the morning. Everything else was dream. In the dream, there was this little apartment room where she was doing this stuff. I don't know. I was watching her and I was trying to sleep on that bed, which was just, it was, it was like being in that bed right there with the wall right there was at the edge of it with all the other shit over to the front. Now, I was in that room. Why? Why? I don't know. I don't know. Because it's a cute chick. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But that's what I dreamed. Nothing happened. I woke up in the dream and then woke up at the same time in real life. So I don't know what it means.
I do know. I think she's cute. That's probably just enough. That's probably just enough to cause the uh, dream phenomenon. Because I'm a dude. Sorry. It's just the way it is. I like boobs and big poofy hair. Those cheerleader legs. Wow. So, good morning. Happy Saturday. Not fully awake, but I'm trying to wake up. I'm trying to get up. Feel okay today. A little bit. Stomach's making weird noises, and I think I've got the stomach problems now. But other than that, things appear to be okay. Phone's not giving me any problems. It's actually a very good phone. I didn't get Calypso. I got Maestro. Because they had the Calypso that was $40. And the other Calypso cost as much as this phone. But they didn't have that. I wanted to get the $76 phone. Not the $50. And not the $44. And definitely not the $20 phone. No. Because I make all these videos and movies and all this stuff. So I wanted to get... A decent phone that wouldn't turn to crap, Tur turn to crap on me. Throughout the years, I've had many interesting phones. The most interesting that I think that they came out with was the Hydro, the one that you could get underwater, because I would go into the river and go underwater and take films underwater, which I don't have any, and that's kind of sad, whatever. I caught a uh, coral snake, no, a uh, copperhead snake, a baby. It was this big. Somehow got him into a Sprite bottle, brought him up here, put him in a bucket with water, and I put the frequencies on the hydrophone, threw it in the water to frequency test the snake to see what, what, uh, frequencies he could he could take what bothered him and I thought I was going to make a bracelet out of him and at the end I, I released him into the wild a, a baby copperhead is worse than a full-grown copperhead because they they can release a lot of toxin in you without any snake experience bite. of the adult to hold it back so you're gonna die you might die I didn't feel like dying that day, but I did release it, and it caused an emotional outburst because maybe it was just being, um, you know, uh, loving to a, another creature that doesn't have the capacity to give a shit or care. I don't know. I was going to kill the snake. I decided not to do it. I released the snake at the edge of the of the forest, and continue to live my life but it cre it broke a wall of emotion in me that made me cry it was somehow you know connected with nature or some shit like that what do you think about that you think i'm just being a little bitch you think i'm just being a little bitch about it save the little snake snake the baby snake the little baby snake you know and i shot a moccasin down at the river, shot this snake, I unloaded, and I was going to chop it, because normally I like to have a gun and a, a chopper, like either a machete or a sword or something like that. But the final move in killing a snake isn't shooting the snake, it's decapitating the snake. That's the final move. The final countdown. Doo -doo -doo. You decapitate the snake. I didn't have that, so I went up made a sandwich, I came back down, and there was baby snakes coming out of the holes that I shot in the snake. And it was a black copperhead, but it had, I mean, it was a black moccasin snake, but it had copperhead baby come out of the hole in the snake. So I was like, what's going on? Did this snake eat this other snake? And it was inside? Maybe. Maybe so. It wasn't pregnant with them. 
They didn't hatch in its eggs. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> I captured that baby snake in a Sprite bottle. And uh, decapitated the mother and threw her in the river. Like just launched her fucking body from the edge of my sword into the river after decapitating it with a smooth ass criminal move. Smooth. We're experiencing now, now. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Did you see my face is stuck? It's a kitty cat. It wants to say hi. It wants to say hi. It's his tummy. Tummy says hi too. Hello. I'm out of here with kitty cat. It's just a new, the new phone. Me and kitty cat. What's up, kitty? You can't really see him, and I'm sorry about that. I, mean, I guess I could change that if I put it down here. And that's just the way it is. <laughs> yes. I told my dad, I said, he's got enough food. I forgot to get him some cat food. But I've got some. You're not getting any right now. I'm sorry. You already had. I gave him a weenie. Which is about as long as his whole arm. One of those wieners are. Oscar Mayer wieners. And... I said, that's about enough food for him for one day. I mean, we're just friends, okay? I'm not taking care of you, all right? I don't I don't take care of you. I don't have a cat. You live at our house because you chose to. You found your way here on your own, as he did. And we've decided that the conditions are as such... That we can we can we can cohabitate and it'd be all right. Right, cat? Right? Oh, oh, I see. So we we both come to terms and agree. He doesn't really bother me, and I don't really bother him. So we're cool. We're gonna be friends and chill, and we'll try to help each other out. Sometimes I'll pet him on his head, and sometimes he'll scratch my foot and combat me. I told my dad, I said, this is what I'm going to do for him. He's like, well, sometimes you should chop that, that, that thing up. You know, I said, you know what? It's time for you to get the fuck out of that bed. It's time for you to get the fuck out of that bed. You want to chop that wiener? You're going to chop it. You chop it. You get your ass out here. You get you a little knife. You chop that wiener up and you give it to him and he'll be happy. He'll be happy that you did. But, um. I'm not sure that that's possible until he does it. Now, he's getting a little better, but now I'm going to begin, because he's a Capricorn, I'm going to begin to percuss his ego because as I am studying all the different ways of being a healer and to heal thyself, I'm going to percuss his ego and thus do like uh you know how, do you anybody know cpr this is cpr for the ego this is uh egoic pulmonary resuscitation 